Um, before we get to uh, the moon again, and I'm, I'm delaying this, um, I want a little bit of background on NASA. I mean, you worked for NASA, and now you're in contention with NASA. And uh, why is that? I mean, uh, you worked for the organization, and now you're turning around, in essence, and saying, gee, what a bunch of liars. <laughs> well, let, well let, me, let me put that, hopefully, in a, in a correct perspective. What I'm, I, I was a NASA consultant. I was a NASA fan from the beginning. I mean, I, when I was at the museum in Springfield in 1964, I created a transcontinental project between the Museum of Science in Springfield and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena mm -hmm. with an NBC affiliate named WTIC in Hartford, Connecticut. It was owned by the Travelers Insurance Company. We did an all-night program with everyone from Carl Sagan to Alan Hynek. We broadcast the program by laser as an experimental technology for communication, foreshadowing ultimately someday what would be occurring across the solar system or between the moon and earth or mars and earth and all that the program was nominated for a peabody and the occasion was the first flyby of the mariner 4 spacecraft past uh, mars in Jul uh, july of 1965 so um i i cannot say that i was an antagonist in the beginning but what i have become is a critic because the agency has drifted away from the charter when you go back and look at how NASA was formed in 1958 as a unique government agency that was to be of service of, by, and for the people of the United States, if you read the charter, it says in one paragraph that there shall be all appropriate and widespread dissemination of the process and results of NASA's activities in the field of science and inquiry into the universe, et cetera, et cetera. And what we have found and what has been documented not only by our own efforts but by the efforts of people like dr stan mcdaniel is that somehow nasa is not operating today in consonance with its charter now most of the people in nasa the 99.9 percent .9 who are you know heroic pioneering who believe in the charter they would be appalled if they had done their homework and found what we have found so it's not that i'm opposed to nasa what i'm opposed to is the tiny handful of people who over the last 30 years, as we are now unfortunately able to document, have caused the agency to diverge more and more from its ideals, its goals, its vision, its principles, its ethics on which the American people have depended. And we're doing this on behalf not only of people who care about NASA, but the people within the agency who are being sold down the river along with the rest of us. Richard, what, uh, what influence caused this change, do you think? fear. 